Dominic. I see that my boys are teaching you how to enjoy a little taste of your own medicine. <laughs> you and your brothers must have guts of steel to lay your hands on my own son. Have more fun. <laughs> I'll let you go this time. Tell your brother Michael he will be next. I'll keep dealing with all of you one by one until you learn why the bat flies at night. You are lucky. This is one of my happiest days. Take him out. Get up! Get up! Get up! Come on! Any mommy, this isn't what I expected. I'm as shocked as you are, Rose. I never thought our families could be involved in such an uncivilized war. How could Michael do this? I have so much respect for him. My only problem now is our wedding. I can hardly sleep. I'm afraid. I mean, I'm scared. What's your father saying? Same as your family. Do you know something, Rose? If the wedding can take place here, I mean, we can always go back to the United States and have it done there. What do you think? And our family? <laughs> Look, how are we supposed to live together each day knowing that our families are at each other's throat back home? Oh, come on. Whatever happens, Rose, nothing can ever let me, I mean, make me let go of you. Not even our family squabbles. <sighs> Come. I love you so much, Rose. My love for you is built on solid rock. You've always been there for me. I can't imagine life without you, Rose. I love you. If only they know you as well as I do. If only they know the source of strength you've been for me all these past years in a faraway land. If only they know. Charles, I love you, okay? And nothing can change that. I mean, nothing can take away my love from you. Not even my family. You hear me? I love you too, Rose. So at that point, the man said, if he is not your mother, then who is your mother? <laughs> hey, Charlie, come, 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 come. Um, you walked in right on cue, and the white man would say, this is my friend, Moken Eve. We've known each other for so long. My son, Charles, the one I've been talking about, 
Good day, sir. Yeah, I'm talking to you about. Yes. Sit down. Um, I have heard so much about you and your academic exploits in the United States. I am proud of you. <laughs> I'm honored, sir. Good. Um, Charles, that pretty girl sitting by his side is the daughter. I call her Princess Linda because the mother comes from a royal family in their village. Uh, Linda. Myself, Charles, just came back. It's nice to meet you, Linda. Your pleasure, Charles. Princess. Thanks. Uh, uh, hey. I have completed arrangements to ensure that your wedding is going to be the greatest ever and the talk of the town. In fact, my friend, Wokan Eva, has a volunteer to sponsor your white wedding in London. All expenses paid after you would have finished your traditional bits here. So, I mean, um, what else could a guy expect? You, you, we've known each other for so long. <laughs> um, that? Yes. Uh, can I see you in private? Yes, why not? Um, excuse me. Uh, uh, yes. Dad, what do you think you're doing? How could you embarrass me like that? What are you talking about? How could you introduce me up to a man and a lady as a husband and a son-in-law? Dad, what do you take me for? What do you take me for? Now listen, Morgan Ife has been my friend for a very long time. And there's a very strong possibility of his being the next governor of this state. Now, do you know what being a son-in-law to such a family is? Dad, do you? Dad, I'm old enough to take my own decisions. And even decisions about marriage, Dad, I'm old enough. Not when such decisions involve humiliating me before my enemies. Your enemies are not my enemies, Dad, and they can never be. Ah, that's where you're wrong. Listen, son, no matter how much you raise your voice, let's get one thing straight. If you are still toying with the idea of bringing in that Dominic girl into this family as a wife, then you better think again, because I will never allow that happen. Dad, Dad, you don't cease to amaze me, Dad. You've not even changed a bit. And it's not going to help you and I in our relationship, Dad. Listen, Dad, I love Rose, and that's who I'm going to marry. Period. I see. I see. wrong with you? Shut up, bitch. Are you mad? Sit your ass down. Oh, you fake ass for... Sit down. Michael. What are you doing? Do you know what my problem with father is? He was always trying to control my life. It was always Rose, do this. No, don't do that. You must be a doctor. Rose never did what she wanted to do. Father wished you well, Rose. Let the decisions taken in my private life be mine. I won't let you continue from where father stopped. Rose, put the gun down. You might hurt somebody. Hurt? Michael, take a very good look at me. I'm already hurt. I mean, here you are, with your girlfriend, having a good time. Because she's the bitch you want, isn't that so? You're tired. You need some sleep, okay? Put the gun down, let me take you home. You're damn right I'm tired. I'm tired of you trying to control my life. Michael, I want my life back. And I want it with Charles. You and I know.
that you will never marry that boy. That is the decision of the family. Family? Or you? I'm telling it to your face, Michael. Fuck family. Fuck you. And fuck whoever else gives a damn about my life. I will marry Charles. Hear me? Let's go. I can't believe this is happening. I just can't believe this. I will not sit back and allow this stupid drama to further. Mike, I think you should calm down. The situation may not be as worse as you It's really already worse than the devil himself can think, Ben. For my sister to be hunting me around town with a gun and barrazzing me in front of my guests in public because of that stupid boy called Charles is what I cannot stomach. Do you understand? We better hurry her back to the United States. No! No! That was what started off this mess in the first place. She was supposed to go to the United States to study. Not to go and fall in love with Ferdinand's son. Michael, the issue of love is a strong and delicate subject matter to deal with. Especially when a woman is in love. So what are you trying to say? Mike, if the relationship that exists between Charles and... Rose is as strong as Rose makes us believe it is. Then, then what? Then what, Ben? Allow my sister to be caught up in Ferdinand's trap? Is that what you're saying? Hell no. There are a dozen and one men out there good enough for Rose. Ferdinand's son is not one of them. Supposing Charles makes a good husband for her. Bucci, if you were not my cousin, I swear to God I would have cut off your tongue this moment. Did you think of our father? Did you think of the way he was murdered mercilessly on the streets like an animal, perforated with 16 bullets, left to die in his own blood? Did you think of that? Huh? Look at your brother. Look at him. He was beaten to a pulp, beaten into coma, almost killed him. Did you think of that? Did you? Look at him. Who do you think is responsible? Huh? Who? As long as he is Ferdinand's son, he is a viper just like his father. Michael. Mike, I understand your stance for the family, but I really think we should approach the whole issue from another angle. Yes, that's, that's what I think. The only angle to approach a snake is by killing it first. I will not sit back and watch my sister fall into the hands of the Ferdinand's family. Love or no stupid love. We have to find a permanent solution to that boy, that nimcompoops called Charles. Mike, what is it? It's Rose. Rose. You must come at once. Rose? Yes. Come on, guys, hurry. Well, you, no, 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 you sit down, sit down. Sit down and take care of yourself. We'll be right back. Butchie, let's go. Move, 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 move.
Rose? Rose! That caught me, Michael! What the hell's wrong with you? Why are you treating this poor girl like this? It's none of your business. You stay away from this, you understand? Go home to your father. Now listen to me, Michael. For how long are you gonna keep her away from me? Standing between us is only gonna wreck this poor girl's life. And what do you want to do about it, Romeo? What do you want to do about it? You see, it's like you do not understand the situation here. Let me explain to you. You're gambling with your life. Stay away from my sister. I don't need your advice, Michael. It's not an advice. It's a warning. Oh, warning? So what you gonna do? Beat me up with your tall life brothers like you did before? Now listen, Michael. For how long are you gonna put up with this barbaric attitude of yours over your sister's emotions? Never, never in your life you speak to me about my sister again. Never! Now you go home to your father, child, before it's too late. Hello. Sick. What the hell is the matter with you? Charles! Charles is the matter with me! I love him, Michael, and I must marry him! I've told you the sooner you get it into your thick skull that that boy is no good for you, the better for you! Look at you, just look at yourself! Yes, look at me! Take a very good look at me, nigga! What do you see? A full grown woman who knows what she wants! A woman after her own heart! You can't interfere in my life! You're not my father! I won't let you intrude! If father was alive this moment, he would have skinned you with his bare hands. I will not allow you to bring disgrace and defeat onto this family by throwing yourself at the fetnance, all in the name of love. Do you understand? Love? <laughs> Michael, what do you know about love? What? Nothing. Okay, you love me, don't you? Now why don't you marry? Marry me! Get your hands off me. I know enough about love not to be blinded by it over the pride of my family. If love in the Ferdinands is what love is all about, then to hell with love. I can live without it for the rest of my life. You don't have a life! You don't! The only thing you have is vengeance, hatred and brute for over your own fellow man. Just like father wanted you to. I won't let you drag me into it. I won't. And I will not let you drag yourself into the claws of the Ferdinand. Do you understand? Q.E.D. Lock her up. Lock who up? Yes. Oh, stop. 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 Let me. Me. Uh. Oh,
What? Where is Rose? Rose? She's in there. She's not in there. She has escaped. How? How am I supposed to know that? Are you asking me? What were you guys doing when she escaped, for goodness sake? Find her right now. Find her. Search. Search the whole compound. Look, I'm, I'm sorry I had to put up that shoe at the club. But God, I was so pissed. I mean, I've been so depressed. Come on, come on, Rose. I, I was touched myself, okay? I... You didn't have to go through all the stress just for my sake. You've put me in a debt I don't think I can ever pay back. Charles, how about your father? You think he'll be any different? Oh, come on, don't worry about my father, okay? He will understand. Yeah, Don't okay. worry, he will understand. Oh, welcome, Dad. Hello, youngsters. I hope you're having a wonderful time. Oh, sure, Dad. Yeah. Just back from my evening stroll. I'm tired. Good evening, sir. Hello, good evening, young lady. How do you do? Fine, thank you. Wait a minute. There is something about your face that is so familiar. Have I met you somewhere before? Um, um Dad, yes. this is Rose, late Chief Dominic's daughter that I told you about. Rose, meet my father. Um. What are you doing here? Uh. I said, what are you doing here? Young lady, you are not welcome in this household. Please leave. No member of your family is welcome here. Please leave. Dad, she is not leaving. Now listen to me, son. I own this house. And I call the shots. I say who stays and who goes. And right now, I want her out of this place. Get out now. She is not leaving, Dad. Are you mad? Are you mad? Are you challenging me? And now, for the very last time, I want her out of this house. Leave that now. I'm saying that she's not leaving. All right, let's see. <laughs> Mother, the last time I saw her, that I will always love you, Dad. That I will always respect and honor you, Dad. I can never dream of raising my hands on you, Dad. Never. I'm sorry, son. It is not my intention to hit you. I don't know what came over me. I'm sorry, you see. Each time I see a member of Dominic's household, the blood boils in me. I remember how treacherous their father was. And I can't hold back in the tantrums. But I'm giving you my word that this will not happen again. Ever. Sorry, son. Let's go. Come on, son.
Charles Ferdinand. Yes. Uh, you have a letter, but please sign here first. Letter? Yeah. to see your slot of his sister, Rose. I beg your pardon? Do I know you? So it is you. I've heard all over town about your moves to marry Charles. But let me warn you. You're playing with fire. I say you're playing with fire. I have waited for years for my son to know who his father is. If you think you can jump out of the blues and snatch Charles, the father of my son, away from me, then... You better think twice, bitch. Rose, what was that all about? What was, what did that woman want? No idea. I mean, I've never met her before. Never. She was saying something about you snatching the father of her child? Beats me. She mentioned Charles. No, uh, not Charles. Dear Rose, something has just come up and I thought I should let you know about it. For years I have hidden it from you because I thought I could get away with it. I never wanted to discuss it with you because I never wanted to lose you. There's this woman I had an affair with. She had a son for me. A few days ago she had confronted me and after much deliberation with my family, I have decided to take her as my wife since our families are at war with each other. Please, can you come to the Blue Rose Hotel so that we can talk about this? I would have come myself, but you know how it is. I'm sorry for the turn of events, but I hope you'll understand. Yours, Charles. This can't be. Charles Ibusa. Okay, sir. I'm looking for a certain lady named uh, Annabelle. Oh, okay. She's at the restaurant. She's been waiting for you, sir. You can meet her up there. Okay. You can meet her Which way? There. This way, sir. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. Yes, who are you? Oh, I'm Annabelle, Rose's cousin. She asked me to come here and wait for you. Oh, it's nice meeting you. And I where is she? She's on her way, babe. Taking her time regarding the issue between your family and house. However, she has a room booked. And where's the room? 20 years ago. Good afternoon, madam. Hi, um, I'm supposed to meet a Charles here, please. Okay, one minute, ma'am. Okay, Mr. Charles, room 20. Charles! Charles! 
Yup. A rose. What rubbish did you send to me? Rubbish? What are you talking about? I want you to just explain. Sweet as we that. <laughs> what? You again? I thought I wanted you to stay away from my husband. So what are you doing here, you have? Can someone tell me what is going on here? You just tell her what is going on here. Look, Rose, I, I, I thought she said she... I, 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 Shh. What? what the hell do you take me for? A fool? Rose, hold on, let me explain. Get your hands off me. Rose! Rose, wait! Rose, I can explain, wait! That's what I've been trying to tell you, Rose. That's what I've been trying to protect you from. That family is evil. Everyone in that family is evil. I loved you. I gave him my heart. I gave him all that I had. And I trusted him. I believed in him. Why did he have to do this to me? Why? I'm, I didn't deserve it. I did. I did. Yes. You don't deserve it. And I'll show you why. Okay? I'll show you why. Don't cry, alright? Don't cry. Don't cry, don't cry. Okay, it's all right. Come, 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 come. Let me show you. I want to show you something. I used to be a one with passion and groaning for love. Now I'm disappointed. I can't go on again. I've lost all my loved ones.
Here lies the remains of our father. The man that gave everything to make you happy. He trusted and believed so much in Charles' father that he gave him his heart and his soul. Then what happened? He killed him. Charles' father killed our beloved father and betrayed everything. Just like Charles did to you. And that's what I've been trying to protect you from, Rose. That's what I've been trying to protect you from. It's all right. Come. Come. Don't cry. Don't cry. Don't cry. Okay, don't cry. It's all right. <sighs> Let me take you home. You need some sleep, okay? But I prefer this one, I prefer the color. This looks like um, um, a mermaid. Um, excuse me. Um, yeah, hello, somebody. Come and... Rose. Thank goodness you're here, Rose. I need to talk to you. Leave me alone, you two timing pig. Go back to your wife. Rose, listen, I, I can explain, Rose. Someone is lying to you. The only person lying to me here, Charles, is you. Just leave me alone. It's over. Hear me? Rose, Rose. Maybe you don't understand, huh? I don't know why you can't get it into your thick skull. The girl says she doesn't want to play Romeo and Juliet anymore. Are you behind us, Michael? Charles, the only thing I'll be behind is kicking your ass all the way to Alaska if you don't leave my sister alone. Oh, yeah. Besides. Didn't Romeo kill himself over Juliet? Kill yourself. I just might convince her to do the same.
learn to learn. As you can see, the patient needs ventilation. Can you please wait outside? Sure. Yes, what is it? Well, um, Chief, yes. we are really sorry, but uh, we have to place a son under arrest. What? Why? Chief, there were traces of heroin in your son's bloodstream. Traces of heroin in my own son's bloodstream? Yes, Chief. You must be mad, both of you. Well, not only that, uh, Chief, but you see, such of substances tested to be cocaine were also found in his possession. So, we have alerted the Interpol and the United States Immigration and Drug Law Authorities. We have requested for an in-depth check into your son's activities while he was in the United States. And for this purpose, Chief, we have no choice than to place him under arrest. We're sorry about that, Chief. Have you finished? Have you finished? Well, I have heard you. Thank you very much. Excuse me. First, Ferdinand killed my father. Then he tries to push us out of our own business. Now his son turns into a drug dealer, and we are being embarrassed. I don't believe this. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I didn't know. I mean, I never did. No, 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 I don't blame you. I just don't understand why we have to suffer for other people's sins. The house is clean. There's nothing upstairs. Are you sure? Yeah. Well, Mr. Michael, our investigation still continues. From time to time, you might be called upon at the Interpol office to give a testimony and certification about your knowledge about Charles. Is that okay? Hey, look. I already told you, okay? I didn't know he was into drugs, and I never saw him with crack either. So? Young lady, <clears throat> you will let the investigations department of Interpol decide that, okay? And for the meantime, I'd like to advise that you guys, none of you leave the country. We have already informed the United States immigration, so beware.
this is this the man you talked about? Yes, that's him, sir. Okay, okay. Sure, sir. Yes. The children of late Chief Dominic are here. Do I bring them in? Yeah, ask them to come in. Yes, sir. What, 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 what am I seeing? Chief Dominic? Yes. yes. Mm -hmm. My friend, I want you to testify again in the presence of these people. On 24th of April, this chief here, Chief OKK, contracted us personally to do a job for him. What sort of job? To assassinate him. One chief, named Chief Dominic Okafo. And this chief here, Chief Ferdinand Ibusa. So what happened next? I said what happened next? Sir, we assassinated Chief Dominic. Later I informed him that we couldn't get Chief Ferdinand. He then informed us that we should assassinate the wife instead. Which we did. Later today, he sent same information asking us to kill Chief Ferdinand by all means, which we were about to do before the policemen encountered us. Well, any of you have anything to say? You've had it all. I just wanted you to hear it directly from him. Okay, okay. Why? What have we done to you? You were my friend. You were Dominic's friend. What did we do to you? What did we do to you? I am sorry, Ferdinand. I did not mean to have them killed. I only wanted to seize the opportunity. Of your misunderstanding with Let Tonic to claim the market. Please, please forgive me. It is devil's hand. Shut up! You killed my wife and deprived my children of their mother. Look at the children who turned against me. The children of my best friend, Dominic. You killed Dominic and estranged me from his children, who ordinarily should be my own children. And you're sitting down there and telling me that the devil. You bastard! Hey, stop it! This is a police station. You don't do this in a police station. Listen to me, young man. This is a police station. You don't do this. Control yourself. You have any idea what you have done to my family? Oh, Police, will you Is control this man? I wouldn't have this in my office.
this money away. Let's help. Let's see me in the And get Corporal, uh, get the boys on duty to come and remove this man from here. Sorry. You are sorry. You had somebody claiming to be Charles's wife, thereby destroying my relationship with him, and all you can tell me is you're sorry. God damn you! Rose, what was I supposed to do? I was only trying to protect. Please! You. It was not only Michael's idea, Rose. I was involved too. What? Sister, me too. You're kidding me, right? Rose, we are all very, very sorry for all this. You, you, my. What are you doing here? Have you come to mock me? Uh, no, no, nothing like that. Charles, I, I owe you an explanation. I don't need your explanation, Rose. Now listen, I want you to leave this place immediately, Rose. Leave me alone and get out! Oh, come on. I'm sorry, I didn't... Let me just explain. You never gave me a chance to explain, Rose. You never did. Just look at me, Rose. Just look at me. Now, Rose, for the last time I said you should leave. Hi. And what do you want here? Charles. I have you. Charles, I have you a confession to make. Officers, I am responsible for the drug your colleagues found on him. I planted the drugs on him because I wanted to frustrate him from my sister. I didn't want them to get married. Are you aware of the implications of your utterances? Yes, I'm aware, officer. And I'm ready to take all responsibility. Release him. Please. Take me instead. I... I did. I, I, I planted the drugs. I, I masterminded everything. Charles. I wish I can turn back the hands of time right now, but it wouldn't make much of a difference because I know the damage is already done. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for everything. I'm sorry about the woman at the hotel too, because I, I paid her to do what she did. I know you will find it difficult to forgive me, but please forgive my sister. 
She knew nothing about this. I dragged her into all this mess. She loves you. Very much. Very, very much. That much I know. Tell you something, son. I admire your courage. I do. You did what every responsible son would do to protect the name of the family. In doing that, you went too far, I concede. But you earned my respect in the process. I admire your courage, son. My courage. I want to say this this moment, sir. On behalf of myself, my father, and the entire Dominic's family, we ask for your forgiveness. Please do accept our apology. Stand up, sir. Stand up. I already forgave you, even before you asked my forgiveness. I sincerely hope that the soul of your departed father, my bosom friend, will also forgive me for everything. Everything. <clears throat> well, Michael, you are under arrest for conspiracy and drug possession. You have a right to remain silent as anything you say will be held against you in the court of law. I mean, he, he said he's sorry. He, he is sorry. Rose. You're sorry, aren't you? Tell them you're sorry. Rose, some things had to happen, Rose, it's okay. No. Listen to me, everything is all right. Everything will be fine, I promise you. I did what I did for you and the family because I love you all. I love you all very much and I love you too, Rose. You're my sister, my flesh and blood. And I love you, Rose, because you're my sister. Look at me, everything will be fine, okay? I want you to love him too. Like you've always told me you loved him, okay? I mean, God's almighty, abundant blessings abide with both of you. Please, there's something we can do. <laughs> 